Hi guys, and welcome back to Tide TV. Today I thought I would show you how I tie a baby sand eel, which is a very good fly for uh, sea trout fishing on the coastline when the water gets a bit warmer and these, uh, these small babies crawl up from the sand and actually gets a, quite a big part of the, the food for, for sea trouts. This fly is made as a sea trout fly, but it doesn't stop there. I mean, this fly is good for perch, it could be good for, for many different things, uh, rainbows it will work for, so don't only keep it in your, in your, in your sea trout box. It's a very simple fly, a very slim model and very durable. So uh, well, once you tie one, uh, as long as you don't put wet salty flies and keep them in your box so the hook will damage, uh, it, it will keep for a long time. So um, try it out. Uh, this fly is tied on a partridge bass minnow size 2. It's a quite small hook, a short shank with a wide gap and that's what I like uh, for a fly like this. Let's, let's get started. So, first of all, when I place uh, the hook in, in my vise, it's a bit bended. You see it has a, a slightly bend to it. I always bend it back so it's straight. Um, I don't know if this has any meaning to it or not, but but I just like a straight straight hook, so I just bend it back, and it doesn't it doesn't damage the hook at all. So using a a white thigh thread, quite um, thin diameter, but we'll have the the thread underneath all of the materials, so it won't be visible anyway. But I just like like this one. So, attach your thread to the hook, go back just around the, the hook point and cut all of it off. This fly is a little bit special because everything is actually tied on backwards, which means that we're going to tie everything on, but keep it hang in front and we, then we're going to turn it back over to, to make the fly. So that means that the things you want on top actually has to go on the, f on the hook first. So if I want a darker color back to, to the fly, I'm going to take a dark color first. This fly is made uh, entirely out of what we call DNA fibers, which is a quite stiff uh, synthetic fiber, but very alive in the water and got a good sparkle to it, so it looks very nice in the water. You get this glittery movement from it without adapting adding anything else. Um, I'm gonna run three colors. Gonna run a sand color, an olive, and a fluor chartreuse. I would never tie a fly today without some kind of fluorescent material. I wanna underbody or the belly of the fly should be the sand one, the top should be the other one, and the middle of the fly should be the chartreuse one. So I'm gonna start with the olive one. Take a little bunch. If you're tying this fly, it could be a good idea to tie more than one fly um, because this material is quite long. So as you can see, this could actually be, this is more or less a double length uh, of the fly. So instead of just cutting it off, you can actually use half of it if you want to. Make sure before you tie it down at, that all, all ends of the DNA material has the same length because we are going to tie it down here and it has to stop right there. So I'm just going to trim it down like that and I'm going to hold it just about the same length as my tying thread, pinch it, loop it and pull it down. That's it. And I'm going to go all the way up, just a couple of millimeters in front of uh, the eye on the hook. There you go. Now I'm just going to press it down a bit so I get it spread out like that. And tie it down. And then I go all the way back. All the way back to the hook point. Now I see I actually got a bit too long, so I'm just going to cut off the last part. 
like that. Good. Spread it out like that. Middle section, as I said, I want some kind of fluorescence, so fluor material. So I take a second bunch. Do the same here. Make sure it's the same length. It's good. Hold it there. And tie it down. Spread it out a bit. Like that. And go back. That's it. So, the third and final material on, on this side is going to be the tan or the light brown one. Um, same amount as the two before. Cut it off. And tie it down. Give it some good hard pulls so it, it will stay there. And it's okay if the fibers mix up a bit, it'll just make a more l realistic looking fly. Um, so you don't have to be too sad if, if some of it is a bit mixed up. It will tone some of the other colors down a bit. There you go. Turn your hook around like that. One more, what's this color? Same amount. Um, it's a bit difficult to tell how much I'm taking, but if you hold it like this, it's probably a couple of millimeters wide if I, if I pull it. That's it. And do exactly the same thing, just on the other side of it. And place this down there. And tie it down. That's it. So, now we're actually done. <laughs> so we'll glue it. And this will make everything stick together. And will make the fly also very durable. Nothing is ever going to get out of here. Pull our thread just a little bit. Make sure it's gonna go too loose because I'm not able. Well, I could probably make it a knot, but it's quite difficult difficult to come around all of these long fibers. But now it's not gonna go anywhere. Just gonna cut it off and make sure to clean your scissor straight away. Push that one. I don't want it in. So just that's it. And we need to sort this out. We go in with a dubbing needle. Um, it's a lot easier than s using your fingers to, to get in there because you just get tangled up. It's what's underneath and, and all of that. So I just go in just by the hook eye like that and I pull it up. Then I should be able to get more or less all of it in one go. At least I get the most of it, and then it's way easier to just pull pull the last up. There you go. And you pull it back, press down the front of it, so you get a nice head, and help it help it back a bit, so you won't get any of these bubbles or, or, or ends that's sticking up. There you go. It's all right. And now you can see the, the colors have mixed up a bit and 
but I just I like it. If you're tying tying it the right way uh, that everything is going back, you're not going to get these mixed uh, fibers. But here you are. Glue, and this could probably have been easier if you if I would have opened this before, but it was not that hard that I couldn't open it with one hand. There we go. So it's dangerous to have an open bottle of glue on your on your table. Hold the fibers back and just glue them glue them down so they'll stay in the same position. That's it. Now I'm not gonna shut that one off. They don't have to be a hundred percent perfect at the moment. You, you just want, don't want any fibers to pop up and, and make it difficult for the other ones. So when they're hanging like that, it's okay. The body part of it, divide that into two pieces, the same size of them, one on each side of the hook. Just pinch it like that, so you get all of it into one. Turn it around. pull it back. Some glue again. And then you can give, give all of it a little bit again. Like that. Pull it. That's it. Oh. See, now this one is lifting up when, it, when I release it. It's lifting up, but it's still bended backwards. So it's okay. And it's not gonna, it's not gonna get loose from the other fibers anyway, so. Push it in a bit like that. There you go, have a look. Oh, that's all right. Because we're gonna make, we're gonna use some UV glue around the whole the whole body of the fly so it's gonna it's gonna get stuck anyway some here I've chosen some five millimeters eyes and I'm just gonna take my dubbing needle again normally I would glue them uh, on the on the other side but as I'm using UV glue uh, I don't need to do that place it like that Push it a bit. One more for the other side. And then just have a look. So they are situated more or less the same. That's all right. That's not too bad. I'll take some UV glue. Uh, this one is called Builder from Deer Creek. Uh, it's a quite thick one, but it's very easy to, to work with and it won't, uh, it won't just float away. It's, it's quite heavy, quite thick. So I take all of my fibers again, pull it down, like that. And I add on one glue. All the way up to the hook eye. You don't have to put too much uh, on your first go. You can always just, you can always um, add more. Close your eyes or look away. That's it. So now that's that's where it's where it needs to be. We're gonna do the same on the top side. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna pull it. That's it. And 
Then I'm just going to go once more all around the body. Going to give it in all directions. Wait a little bit. I want to glue it almost all the way back to the hook bend just because this will prevent the fly from tangling around the hook bend. So I'm just going to go with the glue all the way back. I'm just going to go one side of the... There you go. And the last thing, I think. If you want to be real, real good at this, or you want to make it perfect, you should use a dubbing needle or something to put it out. But oh, this is all right. So, and it's good. There you go. A little sand eel, but as you can see now, it's, uh, from my point of view, way too long. But it's okay if, if you want it that long, but that's entirely up to you. So now you've got a very long sand eel, uh, but I'm going to trim it down to be a baby one. So what I do first is uh, I'm going from, from out here. I'm going to make it a bit too long, and I'm just going to trim it down. In, a, in an angle, so I get it, get it tapered. And this is just the first time, so you can always take a little bit more afterwards if you haven't taken too much already. There we go, almost ready. I just turn it around. And I go from underneath, so I can get a little bit better taper. Doesn't have to be too perfect. It just it swims a lot better if it's just not cut off in in one one go. Yeah, and that's more or less it. Um, this looks like very discreet colors as well, but when you put a light to it it lights up. So there's loads of fluorescent uh, fluor materials in this fly. So it will be visible from a long distance. So when the water gets a bit warmer, you should go out and give these flies a go. It's good fun. Put your rod under your arm, keep up the, the pace, uh, full speed, and you'll get very aggressive takes. And very often it could also be bigger fish. Uh, Fishing these one on a reef with a good current, it's, it's good fun. Um, I'm going to give away this fly, uh, so please leave a comment um, to where you are going to use it, when you're going to use it. And uh, please, if you post a picture or something, make a hashtag fly dressing so we can see what you're up to. It will be very fun to, to see some of your pictures. Thank you. Tight lines.